Bridges have long been celebrated for their ability to connect distant lands and overcome geographical barriers. Some bridges, however, push the boundaries of length, spanning incredible distances over land or water. Join me for today's video. We're going to explore the top 15 longest bridges ever built. Number 15. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, China the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, often referred to as the HZMB, is a marvel of modern engineering. Constructed over the Pearl River Delta in China and measuring 34 miles or 55 kilometers long, the bridge is one of the longest sea crossings in the world and is a strategic route linking Hong Kong and Macau to mainland China. The HZMB was officially opened in October 2018, after almost nine years of construction, and cost an estimated $18 billion to complete. It was so expensive because there were a number of technical challenges, such as deep water drilling and seismic isolation. But despite these hurdles, the use of cutting-edge engineering techniques made this all possible. Designers had to be innovative to make it safe to drive on. It's made up of a series of cable-state bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands. This combination of structures allows the smooth passage of both traffic and shipping vessels, with the 4.1 mile or 6.7 kilometer undersea tunnel allowing large cargo ships to pass through the busy shipping lanes without being blocked by the bridge. Another difficulty is that they drive on the other side of the road in Hong Kong than in China, so to keep traffic moving, the lanes loop over each other at one end. The HZMB plays a pivotal role in facilitating economic development in the Greater Bay Area by significantly reducing travel times. Prior to its construction, a journey between Zhuhai and Hong Kong took around four hours by road, a time that has now been shortened to just 45 minutes, which is a vast improvement that benefits industry and individual travelers. Number 14. Penang Second Bridge, Malaysia the Penang Second Bridge, which is officially known as the Sultan Abdul Halim Muzadam Shah Bridge, is an iconic structure in Malaysia that, with a length of 15 miles or 24 kilometers from Batu Mong on Penang Island to Batu Kawan on the mainland, is the second longest bridge in Southeast Asia. It was built to alleviate congestion on the original Penang Bridge, and after six years of construction, it was opened in March of 2014. It's got an impressive design and is a dual carriageway toll bridge with cable stayed and marine viaduct sections. The S-shaped bridge's main span measures 820 feet or 250 meters, and it's got a vertical clearance of almost 100 feet or 30 meters above the water in one section to allow ships to pass beneath it. It was designed with a life expectancy of 120 years, with the potential for upgrades during this time to extend it indefinitely. One of the concerns the designers had were the stresses the bridge could potentially be put under because of the climate in the region, so it had to be resilient to natural disasters. It's therefore able to resist typhoon-level wind speeds and is the longest bridge in the world to be built with high-damping natural rubber bearings, which makes it resilient to high-intensity earthquakes, too. Most toll bridges funnel traffic through booths to take payments, but a fully automated electronic collection system means that this isn't necessary on this bridge, and a smoother flow of traffic is maintained to allow a greater volume of traffic to pass through. Since opening, the bridge has therefore succeeded in alleviating pressure from the first Penang Bridge and other routes, and has been a significant boost to the local economy. Number 13. Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, United States the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, also called the CBBT, is a major transport artery across the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay between the Delmarva Peninsula, Virginia Beach, on the mainland. Stretching 17.6 miles, or 28.3 kilometers, it carries US-13 and saves users 95 miles, or 153 kilometers, along alternate routes. It's just one of 14 bridge tunnel systems around the world, and it's actually made up of two tunnels that are a mile or 1.6 kilometers long each, two bridges, almost two miles or 3.2 kilometers of causeway, four man-made islands, and over 12 miles or 19 kilometers of trestle. This complicated design was chosen as to allow the road to be built without affecting the passage of shipping traffic in two major shipping channels, Thimble Shoal and Chesapeake. The CBBT was officially opened on April 15, 1964, and originally included a two-lane road. Due to increasing traffic demands, a parallel bridge tunnel structure was completed in 1999, expanding the CBBT to four lanes along stretches. And by the beginning of 2021, more than 140 million vehicles are believed to have crossed it. Expansion isn't finished yet, though, and plans are in place for the entire structure to become a four-lane highway by 2040. The reason why these upgrades are taking so long and costing hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, is because it's an incredibly complex piece of engineering. 
It's built, for example, to withstand extreme weather conditions and potential seismic events, as well as ensuring its integrity should it be struck by a large ship, which is something that happened three times within its first 10 years of being open. Number 12. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Skyway, Indonesia The Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Skyway is an expressway in Indonesia that was previously known as the jakarta Sikampek Elevated Toll Road. Stretching over 22.6 miles or 36.4 kilometers, it connects Bekasi in eastern Jakarta with the city of Karawang in West Java. It is one of the longest elevated toll roads in the world and has significantly alleviated traffic congestion in and around Jakarta, which is a city with over 10 million residents. Completed and operational since 2019, the Skyway was built over the existing jakarta Sikampek Toll Road and it's comprised of six lanes, three in each direction. Connecting to the city's industrial, business, and residential areas, so it can be conveniently used by anyone. By easing congestion, it shortened journey times not just for those using it, but for other road users as well, and it's also been used for political benefits. Soon after being finished, the Skyway was renamed in honor of the Crown Prince of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, who has funded various humanitarian and developmental initiatives in Indonesia. The act of renaming such a critical piece of infrastructure after him was both a sign of the close ties between the two countries, but also one designed to deepen that bond too. Number 11. The Sultan Hajo Omar Ali Saifuddin Bridge, Brunei Measuring 19 miles or 30 kilometers, the Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Bridge, also known as the Tembrong Bridge, is the longest in Southeast Asia and connects the mainland of Brunei on the island of Borneo with Tembrong, which is an exclave of the country. Officially open to the public in March of 2020, the bridge is named after the 28th Sultan of Brunei, Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin III, who is credited as being the architect of modern Brunei and in many ways, it completed the dream whereby all parts of Brunei are connected. By using the bridge, it's now possible to avoid alternative routes, which were either taking a water taxi or traveling through Malaysia, a route that involves passing four immigration checkpoints. Passing over Brunei Bay, engineers had to consider various challenges, such as deep water, soft ground, high seismic activity, and the need to minimize environmental impact on the ecologically rich region. And the solution was two high pylon cable stayed bridges with a 9 mile or 14 and a half kilometer viaduct, a navigation bridge, and then another 7.3 mile or 11.8 kilometer viaduct. Since opening, this bridge has given local residents direct and faster access to opportunities in the capital and has allowed businesses to benefit from the larger workforce that's now available. This project cost an estimated 1.2 billion US dollars to complete, but there's already the argument that with the economic benefits it's brought, it's already paid for itself. It's now, of course, made Temborong more accessible too, and with aims such as the development of ecotourism, agriculture, and local industries, the bridge has been an integral part of the country's Vision 2035 initiative, which aims to transform Brunei into a more sustainable and diversified economy. Number 10. The Manchik Swamp Bridge, United States The Manchik Swamp Bridge is a landmark in the state of Louisiana and the United States that provides a route for traffic to pass over the Manchik Swamp. At almost 23 miles or 37 kilometers long, it's the longest bridge over the U.S. interstate highway system and is claimed to be the longest toll-free bridge in the world. Built between 1978 and 1979, it was ahead of its time in terms of engineering, connecting Baton Rouge and New Orleans over tricky, swampy terrain. It's made up of 95 spans that are supported by pilings that were drilled deep into the soft earth beneath the swamp, and it was made from a combination of pre-stressed concrete and steel to ensure it was tough enough to withstand the region's unpredictable weather conditions, such as hurricanes and heavy rainstorms. The bridge's height allows boats and other marine traffic to pass beneath it and to preserve the natural ecosystem of the swamp. As well as offering practical uses and reducing congestion along other routes, this is one of the most scenic bridges you can cross in the U.S. with panoramic views of the swamp's ecosystem, a region that's teeming with cypress trees, gum trees, and other lush vegetation, and serves as a habitat for various wildlife, including alligators, turtles, and numerous birds. This has led to the bridge becoming a popular tourist attraction in its own right, with many visitors planning their journey so they're able to make a stop at the Manchak Swamp Bridge to see the views for themselves. As such a picturesque place, it's also featured in several films and television shows, which is why you may recognize it even if you've never been to Louisiana, with its backdrop and ambience making it a great location for filmmakers to look to capture the essence of the state's swamplands.
Number 9. Hangzhou Bay Bridge, China The Hangzhou Bay Bridge straddles the waters of Hangzhou Bay in the East China Sea and since opening in 2008 has significantly reduced travel time between the cities of Ningbo and Jiangxing in the Zhejiang province of China, making it a crucial infrastructural development for the entire region. At 22.2 miles or 35.7 kilometers, this six-lane crossing is one of the longest transoceanic bridges in the world. It was a monumental effort to complete and took 600 expert designers and 30,000 workers more than five years in a project that's believed to have cost the equivalent of 1.5 billion US dollars. From a design perspective, the bridge stands out for its S-shaped curved form, which wasn't a purely aesthetic decision, but was chosen because it helps to withstand high winds and tidal forces while ensuring maritime safety, as well as adding structural stability during earthquakes. Even though it was designed for functional regions, it's an incredible bridge to see, with its huge steel cables that rise above the water and the way the lights illuminate the bay at night. For those wanting to visit, the service center near its midpoint is known as the Oriental Pearl Tower and offers a rest area and the perfect spot for a panoramic view of the entire bridge. With journey times reduced from 4 hours to 2 hours between the main cities of Ningbo and Shanghai and easing congestion elsewhere, the bridge has been a commercial success and it's also boosted the tourism industry in Hangzhou Bay, showing just how much a development like this can revitalize an area. Number 8. Sheikh Jabr al Ahmad al Sabah Causeway. Built as the first stage of the Silk City project and partly funded by China under its Belt and Road Initiative, the Sheikh Jabr al Ahmad al Sabah Causeway crosses the Bay of Kuwait, and it's made up of two links. The main link, which connects Kuwait City with what will be the brand new Silk City in Subaya, and the Doha link, which connects Kuwait City to Doha. The combined length of this causeway, which opened in 2019, is 30.1 miles or 48 and a half kilometers. And at a cost of more than 3 billion US dollars, it took six years to build with more than 22,000 workers from 20 countries. Rather than being just one bridge, it's actually a combination of bridges, viaducts, and embankments, as well as a cable stayed bridge that allows for free passage of vessels underneath it. There's also two artificial islands which were built for tourism that act as supports for the causeway and have a mosque, a park, administrative buildings, and observation buildings. The road has three lanes of traffic in each direction with an additional lane on each side for emergency use. And while the main design of the bridge was based on schematics by the American Association of State Highways and Transportation Officials, further design work was carried out by companies in at least seven other countries to make this truly a one-of-a-kind structure. An added complication was the need to protect wildlife in the bay, such as the famous green tiger shrimps. So to overcome this, artificial reefs were also constructed to encourage them to thrive far away from the bridge, a scheme that worked far better than had been hoped. This causeway plays a significant role in Kuwait's vision of economic growth and urban development, and by cutting down travel time between Kuwait City and Subaya from 90 minutes to less than 30, the causeway has greatly sped up transportation links. It's hoped that this causeway will accelerate the development of northern Kuwait, contributing to the country's economic diversification goals and helping it move away from such dependency on oil. Number 7. Achafalaya Basin Bridge, United States the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge, which is alternatively known as the Louisiana Airborne Memorial Bridge, stretches across the expanse of the Atchafalaya Basin in Louisiana, in the United States, and is part of the Interstate 10 Highway. Covering a distance of around 18.2 miles, or 29.3 kilometers, the bridge connects Baton Rouge to Lafayette, effectively crossing the largest wetland and swamp in the United States. And after opening in 1973, it significantly eased the transport challenges being faced in that region. The design of the bridge involves a series of short trestles that are interspersed with longer spans over larger waterways, like the Atchafalaya River, where river traffic needs to be able to pass underneath too. Surprisingly, despite its length and importance, it only has two lanes in each direction with no shoulder, which means there has to be a constant focus on safety for those who travel it. It's been a major improvement for local communities and the surrounding state ever since it opened. Because it's a critical part of I-10, it forms a crucial link between the eastern and western parts of the United States, facilitating commercial transportation and trade. The quick and direct connection it provides between Baton Rouge and Lafayette has significantly bolstered economic activities and stimulated regional growth, 
It's also a vital part of the emergency infrastructure. In a region that's prone to hurricanes, the bridge is one of the main evacuation routes out of the area, and it was designed to be strong enough to withstand extreme weather events, so it's always accessible to anyone who needs to use it. This bridge isn't just about functional transport, though, because it also offers a stunning spectacle, especially for travelers looking for a memorable road trip. The bridge's position high above the water offers a breathtaking panoramic view of the surrounding swamp and wetlands, brimming with diverse wildlife and lush vegetation. Number 6. The Donghai Bridge, China The Donghai Bridge, which is located in the Eastern China Sea and is also known as the East Sea Grand Bridge, spans more than 20.2 miles or 32.5 kilometers, which makes it one of the longest cross-sea bridges in the world. Completed in 2005, it served as a crucial link between mainland Shanghai and the offshore Yangshan Deepwater Port, and it's contributed significantly to the expansion and efficiency of Shanghai's port infrastructure. The bridge has a gentle S-shape alignment that means that it bends with the current rather than against it, a design element that minimizes potential impact on the marine ecosystem. It was constructed using a combination of box girders, cable stays, and an arch for the navigational span, utilizing a range of different engineering techniques, and enabling it to withstand the harsh and unpredictable marine environment. Its design considers high winds, strong currents, and corrosive seawater, enabling it to endure the often severe weather conditions in the East China Sea. Furthermore, the bridge's highest point stands at 205 feet or 62.2 meters above sea level to give it plenty of clearance for large vessels to pass underneath. The construction of the bridge took advantage of cutting-edge technology and the newest composite materials to ensure its longevity and safety. Special anti-corrosion steel and high-performance concrete were used to resist the corrosive effects of seawater and marine air, and the installation of comprehensive monitoring systems means that the bridge's structural health is continually tracked to ensure prompt responses to any potential issues that may develop. The bridge, though primarily an infrastructure project, has also sparked the development of offshore wind farms along its route, and the experiment of using it as a foundation for wind power installation in the East China Sea has proven to be such a success that similar installations are now planned along other sea bridges in China as well. It is another bridge, too, that had such an imposing impact on the views out across the sea that it's become an attraction in its own right, with people choosing to travel there for a chance to drive the distance to soak up the scenic perspective it offers. Add to this, as the sun sets, as night falls, the bridge is illuminated with decorative lights, transforming it into a radiant path stretching across the water. Number 5. Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, United States Stretching across the vast expanse of Lake Pontchartrain in southern Louisiana, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway is made up of two parallel bridges, and with a distance of almost 24 miles or 38 kilometers without being broken into stages, it holds the record for being the longest continuous bridge over water on Earth. Built in the 1950s and 60s, the causeway has been a vital transportation link for over half a century. It connects the northern and southern shores of Lake Pontchartrain and provides a direct route between New Orleans and Mandeville, drastically cutting travel time between them and as a result giving an economic boost and reducing traffic pressures elsewhere. The causeway's construction did, however, present a series of unique challenges. The lake's soft, silty bottom meant that the traditional foundation methods were not an option, so instead over 9,000 concrete piles were driven into the lake bed to support the road surface. As there are no islands or sections of land that break up the bridge, there are some clever safety measures just in case the unthinkable happens. In the center of each span, for example, there are several crossover sections where vehicles can make a U-turn in case of an emergency or during maintenance operations. And there's also a safety patrol, which quickly responds to accidents, breakdowns, and other incidents to further ensure the safety of people using the causeway. The causeway was built to last and has already proven sturdy enough to withstand numerous hurricanes since it was completed, and there are now discussions looking at how it can be upgraded in the future. As well as further reinforcing the main structure, plans have been put forward to add safety lanes, improve the guardrails, and even potentially construct a bike lane, showing the ongoing importance of the causeway in the life of the region. Number 4. Metro Manila Skyway, the Philippines The Metro Manila Skyway is an elevated highway system in Manila in the Philippines, which began operations in the mid-1990s and has a total length of around 24.4 miles, or 39.2 kilometers. This huge engineering challenge was born out of the need to alleviate the severe traffic congestion in Metro Manila, and by providing an elevated, largely grade-separated route above the existing road networks, the Skyway has effectively reduced travel times between various points in the metropolis. 
particularly along the South Luzon Expressway and the North Luzon Expressway, and itself is now regarded as the main expressway in the region. Constructed in multiple stages, it required meticulous planning and execution, largely because it was being built in such a densely populated urban setting. Its elevated design made it possible to add substantial road capacity without the need for extensive land acquisition or displacement of local communities, and it showed the world that if the need is there, it's possible to redevelop the traffic networks of busy city centers without much disruption or destruction. Amazingly, despite the complex urban landscape, it successfully connects major business districts, residential areas, and even the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, and has become a vital route not only for daily commuters, but also for commercial logistics and emergency services, meaning it's contributed significantly to the region's economy and public safety. From an environmental standpoint too, the skyways also help to lower air pollution by reducing traffic congestion and the associated vehicle emissions. This positive ecological impact reflects a broader global trend towards sustainable urban infrastructure, but in a counterintuitive way by facilitating more vehicle journeys rather than the common approach elsewhere of limiting access. Over the years, the Skyway system has been expanded and upgraded to accommodate this ever-growing traffic demand, such as the addition of new entry and exit ramps, the construction of new sections to link with other major roads, and the installation of modern toll collection systems for increased efficiency and convenience. Constant work is also needed to maintain its structural integrity, and since opening, it's already endured a number of natural disasters, including typhoons and earthquakes. With these events becoming more common in recent years, though, the expressway is closely monitored, so repair works can be carried out at the first sign of an issue. Number 3. Bang Na Expressway, Thailand the Bang Na Expressway, which is also known as the Barapa Bwiti Expressway, is one of the longest elevated roadways in the world, stretching for around 34 miles or 55 kilometers from Bangkok to the province of Chonburi in Thailand. Constructed between 1995 and 2000, the expressway was designed to alleviate the dense traffic congestion in and around Bangkok, Thailand's bustling capital city, and was overseen in a joint venture between Billfinger Burger, a German construction company, and Karchong, one of Thailand's leading construction firms. Arms. This expressway was built using a precast segmented box girder design, a technique chosen for its efficiency, durability, and sustainability for the conditions on hand. Around 1,800 pillars are used to support the 1,900 individual spans of the expressway, with each being around 131 feet or 41 meters in length. This design also meant that the bridge could be constructed section by section using large gantry cranes with minimal disruption to the traffic below. Despite the enormous scale of the project, environmental factors were also given significant consideration during its design and construction, even to the extent that noise reduction measures were implemented to minimize the impact on nearby residents, such as acoustic screens and noise-absorbing asphalt. Furthermore, the choice of an elevated design significantly reduced the project's footprint in comparison to alternative solutions, and this avoided the need for extensive and controversial land acquisition. The expressway serves a range of uses that have been vital for the country's transportation needs. By connecting Bangkok to the eastern seaboard, the Bang Na Expressway enables the seamless movement of people and goods, which has in turn significantly boosted the region's economic growth. Importantly, too, it connects major industrial hubs, seaports, and the airport, so it plays a core role in Thailand's logistical network. Another interesting benefit to the way that this expressway was built is that it also demonstrated the potential of public-private partnerships in infrastructure development rather than purely relying on governments to build expensive projects like this. The expressway was funded and is operated under a 27-year concession agreement with the Expressway Authority of Thailand, underscoring the viability of such models in meeting public infrastructure needs and showing a way that they can get completed far faster than the usual procurement process. Number 2. Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct, Taiwan Stretching across the western coast of Taiwan, the Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct is an astonishing feat of architectural design and construction, and became a symbol of the country's commitment to modern, efficient infrastructure. It's part of the Taiwan High-Speed Rail Network. It's around 97.8 miles or 157 kilometers long, making it the second longest bridge in the world. Constructed between 2000 and 2007, the viaduct was designed to accommodate Taiwan's high-speed rail, which reaches speeds of up to 186 miles or 300 kilometers per hour. And along with the stresses these speeds put on the structure, there were a number of other factors that also needed to be taken into account, such as the densely populated urban areas it passes, active fault lines, unpredictable weather patterns, and vulnerable river ecosystems. 
The bridge is composed of precast, post-tensioned, double box girder segments, which were chosen for their structural robustness and efficiency in construction. This method incorporated an innovative seismic design to allow it to withstand the frequent earthquakes that happen in Taiwan without any delay in service. To minimize its environmental impact, measures were taken to protect the local ecosystems, especially around river crossings, while it was being built. And noise barriers were also installed in populated areas to reduce the sound of the high-speed train as they travel through. Within eight years, over 200 million passengers had traveled by train over the viaduct, and it paved the way for further expansion of the rail service throughout Taiwan. Having significantly reduced travel times across the country, it's been credited with supercharging the economy and making it far more resilient to outside pressures. It's also a pretty spectacular bridge, offering a unique perspective on the towns and countryside of Taiwan as you travel past, with plenty of people traveling the route just for the experience, rather than needing to transport to any particular place. Number 1. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, China the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, which is an integral part of the Beijing to Shanghai high speed railway line in China, currently holds the title as the world's longest bridge. It stretches an incredible 102.4 miles or 164.8 kilometers through China's natural and urban landscapes and connects Shanghai with Nanjing. To accommodate the rail lines, it's 260 feet or 79 meters wide and has an average height of 100 feet or 30 meters with an incredible 2,000 spans across its length. Built between 2006 and 2010, this colossal bridge is a true marvel of modern engineering. It was made with over 450,000 tons of steel and 81 million cubic feet or 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete, and its construction involved the efforts of more than 10,000 workers at an estimated cost of 8.5 billion US dollars. Despite its scale, the project was completed in just four years, showing just how committed the current Chinese leadership is to the development of infrastructure. The design of this grand bridge showcases major advances in how projects like these are approached, as it's made up of thousands of piers and viaduct sections that were carefully designed to handle high-speed rail traffic, withstand natural disasters such as frequent typhoons and earthquakes, and minimize environmental impact. The bridge components also had to be suitable for the area's challenging conditions, including a mixture of rivers, lakes, rice paddies, and densely populated urban areas, and its elevated design was chose to limit its overall footprint and to preserve the valued farmland and ecosystems beneath. The Grand Bridge now plays a vital role in China's transportation network that, as well as reducing travel times between major population centers, also enhances regional connectivity and promotes economic growth. The high-speed railway it supports transports millions of passengers annually, offering them convenience, efficiency, and a unique travel experience. Plus, it's a fun journey to take, too. From the perspective of a traveler on a high-speed train, the journey over the bridge offers sweeping views of China's diverse landscape. As you speed across the bridge, you see clearly the stark contrast between China's urban development and its untouched beauty. The bridge provides an ever-changing backdrop from the stunning sunrises over tranquil lakes to the vibrant lights of the bustling cities it connects, running roughly parallel to the Yangtze River. I'll see you next time.